Lockheed Martin Europe announced on August 4, 2025, via X that the joint venture with Rainmetal on the Global Mobile Artillery Rocket System, Mars, has entered a crucial live-fire testing phase at the White Sands Missile Range in the United States. These trials, executed under realistic operational settings, mark a pivotal step in verifying Mars's full combat capabilities following its debut at Eurosatory 2024 in Paris. Mars is engineered to meet the rising demand for long-range, precision artillery support among NATO forces. Mars bridges the operational gap between traditional tube artillery and aerial deep-strike weapons, delivering theater-level firepower tailored to modern battlefield requirements. Built on the Rainmetal HX-8x8 tactical truck chassis, Mars incorporates a dual-pod launcher capable of deploying a wide array of munitions from the MLRS family of munitions, MFOM. This includes the GMLRS with a range exceeding 70 km, extended range variants reaching 150 km, the Atticms missile at 300 km, and the new Precision Strike missile, PRSM, with capabilities beyond 400 km, future upgrades plan for cruise missile compatibility and other guided ordnance, enabling commanders to execute scalable precision strikes, counter-battery operations, interdiction, and air defense suppression. Designed for relentless 24-7 operations in any weather, Mars features a true shoot-and-scoot capability. Its rapid-fire end-move tactics drastically reduce vulnerability to enemy counter-battery fire and reconnaissance. Unlike conventional artillery requiring time-consuming setup with stabilizers or outriggers, Mars eliminates these delays, enhancing responsiveness during fluid combat engagements. Integrated fire control linked with inertial and GPS navigation enables fast, precise targeting of both fixed and mobile threats across tactical and strategic ranges. Weighing less than 40 tons in combat configuration, Mars achieves speeds up to 100 km per hour and has a road range near 700 km. Its compact design, 2.5 meters wide, 3.9 meters tall, and just under 10 meters long, facilitates unrestricted transport via road, rail, or roll-on slash roll-off platforms. The vehicle supports a two-person crew with an optional third seat and boasts a built-in crane system for autonomous reloading, operable even under adverse conditions such as darkness or harsh weather. Mars's operational role spans offensive and defensive scenarios. In high-intensity conflict zones, it can strike enemy supply lines, disrupt command infrastructure, neutralize air defense assets, or hit time-sensitive targets with precision. On defense, it reinforces frontline units with rapid, accurate firepower, particularly useful in GPS-denied environments due to its dual navigation suite. Its mobility supports dynamic maneuver warfare by allowing swift repositioning to avoid enemy retaliation and maintain offensive momentum. Crucially, Mars is designed with NATO interoperability in mind, sharing components and systems with established platforms like HIMARS and M270. This harmonization simplifies training, logistics, and maintenance across allied forces and fosters seamless coordination in multinational operations. The modular architecture accommodates future munitions and specialized payloads, making Mars adaptable to evolving combat demands and technological advances. In early 2025, Rainmetal and Lockheed Martin convened an international summit in Europe, drawing defense officials from 14 nations. The event highlighted Mars's strategic capabilities through factory tours, technical briefings, and discussions on long-range precision fire and multi-domain warfare integration. A live-fire demonstration is planned for summer 2025. Leaders from both companies stressed Mars's operational readiness and export appeal, while retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Ben Hodges emphasized the urgent necessity for next-generation artillery systems like Mars in future battlefields. This collaboration signifies a major advancement in mobile rocket artillery, promising to reshape how NATO forces deliver deep fires with speed, precision, and survivability.